consider the function 2x cubed minus 3x squared answer the following using calculus find the intervals on which this function is concave up or concave downward and find the inflection points of this function inflection points means the point where the concavity changes okay so using calculus means we cannot just graph this function on our calculator and answer that's not the case so let's find derivatives etc so concavity is related to second derivative so we need to find the second derivative of this function so it's easy it's a polynomial so everything is easy derivative is 6x squared minus 6x and second derivative is now 12x minus 6 okay now we set the second derivative 0 uh, that is 12x minus 6 equals 0 isolate x so add 6 to the both sides and divide by 12 so 6 over 12 which is 1 half okay now we need to do the interval test this is a polynomial so it's defined everywhere negative infinity through positive infinity and we got a possible inflection point x coordinate of inflection point one half uh, somewhere one half here now we pick a representative from each interval you know, one half means we can pick zero we can pick one and we plug this into second derivative okay which is here and see whether we get plus or minus plug in zero here zero second derivative my bad this is not second derivative so we were supposed to plug in here second derivative so plug in zero here to zero minus six so negative so we get second derivative negative and one plug in one here 12 minus six is positive okay and we know that when second derivative is negative then the function is concave downward and plus means concave upward now we can answer the first question so the function this given function by the way this given function is concave upward on here one half through positive infinity uh, concave downward concave downward or just concave down on here negative infinity through one half okay now to find the inflection points of f look at here we got one candidate one half I mean, that's what that was the case here and at one half to the left we have concave downward concave upward since the concavity changes so this is an inflection point just the x-coordinate so inflection point is so we need to find x coordinate and corresponding y coordinate one half and evaluate the function because we are answering about the function so plug in one half here two times one half cube minus three times one half a square okay after you do the work you get negative one half so it's a point point means x coordinate and corresponding y coordinate final